Philodendron Glorious. $14.99 for Philodendron Glorious. I just had one of the best plant shopping days that I've had in a really, really long time. So I'm having a little glass of wine to celebrate. I went to Horrocks Nursery because I received a text from the person who does the purchasing there. And they said, hey, you may wanna stop by. Like we have some really good plants in. So I, of course, went by. And this was the place that the last time I was there, they had Monstera Thai Constellations for, it was, I think it was 70 or $80. Like unheard of. Those plants are normally a few hundred dollars, especially for the size Monstera Thai Constellations they had. So I walked in knowing they would have great plants, but I still like just wasn't prepared for the epic plants that they had in stock there. They had so many uncommon and rare plants. So a lot of them I had never even seen before. So of course I had a haul. It was funny because I thought I was done filming and then all of a sudden I'd see this whole other greenhouse that I hadn't even noticed. And I ended up buying a lot of plants that I saw in that second greenhouse. So thank goodness I did end up like noticing they had that going on. So I'm really excited to share the shopping that I did and the haul that I had. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Ashley. I'm a crazy plant lady. So if that kind of content brings a smile to your face, definitely subscribe. And I'm also really fortunate. We have such a great community, not just here, but on Instagram as well. So if you'd like to follow us along on there, feel free. Now a huge thank you to our friends at Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. Bright Sellers is the wine club that believes anybody can experience the joy of wine. After you take a quick seven question quiz, they match you up with wines from all over the world curated to your taste palette. You can choose from 12 different plan options and get over 100 varietals sourced from over 80 wine regions delivered right to your doorstep. Each box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that outline tasting notes, suggested pairings, best serving temps and origins. They have over 600,000 five-star reviews and if you don't like a bottle, they will replace it. I have tried so many great wines that I would never have known about thanks to Bright Cellars. And I have to say, it's not just me that loves them. Like my husband gets really excited and my mom and my friends. And this one is delicious. It's also just the best gift to give to people and it's unique and it's different than other gifts that they may receive, but also greatly appreciated and they'll think of you every time they open up one of their new bottles of wine that they get to try out. Thanks Bright Sellers for giving my followers their first six bottle subscription box, usually over $150 for just $55. Click the link in the description to take the quiz and get started today. I'm so excited to share my plant shopping with all of you. Definitely let me know what you would have picked out if you would have been plant shopping with me today. And again, I'm sharing my haul at the end of the video. So I literally don't know where to start because I see so many amazing plants. So I'll just start here. Here's a Burl Marks philodendron. Absolutely beautiful. I have a, um, a variegated one of these at home. And to be honest, it's not worth it. Just get one of these beautiful non-variegated ones. And the reason it's not worth it is one, they're so expensive if they're variegated. And two, the variegation is really unstable. So, you know, if you can find a variegated one that's not super expensive i'd say go for it but otherwise just get one of these beautiful plants and they're usually not that expensive this one's 34 for this beautiful huge philodendron over here i see some really nice aglionemas and they're 16 for the aglionema gold it's an uncommon aglionema that's a good find look how pretty they are stunning calatheas um this is an ornata calathea 16 99 then we have the calathea mosaica and they have the setenthi the never never plant 12 98 99 i have one of these and i love it um 
Ooh, okay, some Diffenbachias. There's some Crotons here. Oh my gosh, look, they have the Jade Satin um, Scandapsis, 49. This is a fabulous, fabulous plant. I love all the Scandapsis varieties and you just don't see the Jade one ever. It's a, it's a really, really nice plant. And they're beautiful hanging baskets, how they trail down. Oh, they have some of the Diffenbachia Reflector. And th these are nice size ones. Let's see how much. 17. Hey, that's not bad. They're called Reflector because they have little like reflective sparkles in them. It's also a very velvety Diffenbachia, which I don't know of many velvety Diffenbachias. And we have some cute little ficus options here. $13 for the little Tenneke. Then they have the Burgundy. Then they have the ficus Lorata. So some nice ficus options. Beautiful money, or money trees, oh my gosh. Monstera Deliciosa, so what was I thinking? $12.99, gorgeous. And then some little parlor palms, Her Majesty palms, and uh, peperomias. There's some different peperomia options here. $5.99 for these beautiful peperomias. This one looks like a watermelon peperomia, but it's not. Let me, I'm trying to remember. Mini watermelon pep. How cute is that? And then these are the regular size watermelon peperomias. So it's obvious why these types of peperomias are called watermelon peperomias, because they look like a watermelon. Plus they have the beautiful red stems there. And this watermelon peperomia is $5.99. Such a good deal. Ooh, look. What, are, what is this? Jose Bono, 42. Wow, that's the most variegation I've ever seen on one of those. Normally you just don't see hardly any variegation at all. Those are nice. Those are super nice. Very cool, some little Adansonii, these are 19. Then we have some Hartley Philodendron, 6.99 for those. And these look like the Oh, what is this? Philodendron Bianfolium columbia. I thought they might be fuzzy petio, but they're not. Look, they're so pretty. Ooh. Do you guys know anything about this plant? I thought for $18, that's a steal. Oh my gosh, is that? That looks like a red choco. All right, I'm gonna have to go over there. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, wow. This looks like Melanochrysum. Let's see, Philodendron Glorious. $14.99 for Philodendron Glorious. Wowee. Wowee. Wow. Holy cow. That is insane. Wow. Okay. Wow, look, is this so glorious as well? Look at those leaves. I mean, glorious, 14, that's insane. How are they not all like scooped up? I mean, that plant was, it, like I've only ever seen it, so it, like such an expensive, such expensive prices, that's, that's crazy, and I don't have one because they're always so expensive, so uh, yeah, goodness. Then we have some really beautiful pink princess and some Pylea peperomioides there. So here are three different Maranto varieties. They're all amazing, they're all $7.99 here. $7.99 is a great deal on these plants. And they're called um, prayer plants as well as Maranto plants because they go up and they go down like hands in prayer depending on the time of day. They're really, really cool. And they will let you know when they're thirsty as well by kind of um, drooping their leaves and curling in and that kind of thing. So this is a great plant to add to your collection. Ooh, what is this one? That's different. Philid chocolate Empress Philodendron. What is a chocolate Empress 
and I need it in my life. Wow. Okay, I'm so glad I came today. They have such amazing plants. I already see like five I wanna, I may have to actually ship some plants home. I may, yeah, wow. Let me not miss any, cause there's like really great ones hidden in here. Philodendron Rojo Congo, um, beautiful. That's just wild. What is, I'm very curious what this one is. El Choco Red, 32. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, this may end up being an over budget, but worth it video. I haven't done one of those in a long time because I've been, you know, being careful. But these plants are just next level. I'm really, um, impressed and this Jose Bono is just like insane wow okay Adansonii and this is only the first table like I have this table that table that table okay oh boy out of breath um look they have little um uh, peperomia hope $12.99 that's a fabulous peperomia and they do have lots of really nice hanging baskets. I don't want to overlook them. Like, look at this beautiful philodendron cordatum lemon lime, $20. That is a steal. A steal. They have some nice tradescantias hanging up here. Wow. I'm just floored. Completely floored. Okay. Wow, look at this Peperomia. That's so beautiful. How much? $15. Wow. Look at this Tradescantia. I mean, look at the size compared to my hand. It is absolutely massive. And they have a few of them. The plants here are so healthy. So healthy. Oh my gosh. I don't know where to go next. <gasps> oh, they still have the milk confetti Syngoniums, guys. Oh, this looks like a different type of Syngonium. What are you? Pink Passion, $11.99. Oh, and it's like a try. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at this milk confetti. Look at those roots. The roots are rooting. Oh my goodness. This is insane. What's over there? Wow, what is this? $8.99. That looks like an interesting one. I think this one is the Batik. $18.99. Incredible. I wonder what kind of Syngonium that is. I'm too impatient to like walk to the other side. Syngonium Holly, $8.99. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's keep looking. Look at these beautiful mums, and they smell so good. Stromanthi Trio Star, 19. Some nice little snake plants. And they have some um, variegated peace lilies. I, it looks like Domino to me, but let me double check. Yeah, Domino Spathophyllum, $11.99. They have some little uh, spider plants. Wow. So amazing. Ooh, $12.99. Look at that. Little Scandapsis, so cute. They have some nice poth. So here we have some different pothos varieties. We have our Jade, our Neon, Golden Hawaiian Pothos, Marble Queen Pothos, Pearls and Jade Pothos. They're all about $8.99. Absolutely love. Look at these Marble Queen hanging baskets. They're so lush. And they are 28. They have a bunch of them. 
Then down here we have some fern varieties. Some rabbit foot fern, blue star fern, maiden hair fern. Um, this is the blue star. This is the bird's nest. This is the rabbit foot fern. You can tell because of the little rabbit foot sticking out. This is the heart leaf fern, obviously for the little heart leaves. This is the staghorn fern. Amazing. Now this heart leaf fern is really interesting. It's a popular one. You'll see them out and about on Valentine's Day, that kind of thing, because of the heart-shaped leaves. This one's $4.99 in a three and a half inch pot. And they're really great ferns and they're not difficult. The only thing that is tricky about these guys is they do not want to be dried out. So if you can figure out some sort of self-watering situation, um, that's usually a good idea, or they do well in a terrarium. But they're very cool with these heart-shaped leaves. And then they have these really interesting stems. They're like wires. Such a cool plant. They have some really nice carnivorous plants here. Uh, pitcher plants, they're 26. And they have little money trees down here. Some carnivorous plants. And it's nice that they that um, it's nice that they have the carnivorous plants. My gosh, I can't speak in the little terrarium setup. So this one looks like a string of spades. This one looks like a string of hearts. Then this one is a little string of turtles. And then this one over here is string of pearls. And the string of turtles here are $16.99 in these bigger pots. This is a whale fin snake plant. It's called whale fin because it looks like a whale fin coming out of the soil. And this one is 29. Snake plant cylindricas. Amazing. They have some really pretty orchids. These are $24.99. So healthy and beautiful. And the blooms are massive. Let me just show my hand but for comparison because they're so big. Then they have, and I thought for $24.99 that was a fair price. And then they have some cute little orchids here. And then some more of these, I mean the blooms are really massive. This is a really pretty one too. Wow, look at this Mykins. Mykin on a moss pole, 64. Those leaves are so big, they look like melanochrysum. I love Mykins that have been allowed to climb. They always thrive. Ooh, look, look, look. They still have some astrophytums. They have great ones, $13.99. I love astrophytum. They're my favorite type of cacti. Oh, and it looks like a lot of these have recently bloomed. And I like that they have different options for them. They have this one that has the five. This one has four. This one doesn't have any of the little spines on it. This one has four, this one has five. I could just collect all the astrophytum. And they also have variegated apuntias here. $26 for these nice size variegated apuntias. Taking a peek at the little succulents. I like the variegated gasteria. I added one of these to my collection recently and I was surprised to see it here. Um, oh, I think all of these are, yeah, they're all $3.99. So to get a variegated gasteria for $3.99, especially one that's a big size like that, and then they have some of the really nice um, Haworthia cuprae. And normally they're tiny, but these are big for $3.99. Like, there's another variegated gasteria. They have some great plants here. Oh, here's another variegated one. They, it's nice they have different varieties. Oh, this is an uncommon one that you don't see around that often. Wow. $3.99. I don't know the name of it. I'm still learning my succulent names. Oh, this one's cool too, look at this. Yeah, there's so many. So these type of plants are known as the uh, lifesaver cactus because their blooms look like little lifesavers. And these are $13.99. And then we have some astrophytum. And you know, these take forever to get this size. I mean, they can take years. So if you can find an astrophytum that is already a nice sized one, I'd say go ahead and get it, especially for a decent price, like $12.99, $13.99. Um, 
Yeah. It's hard to find the large size ones like this. Then they have some aloe, some different ZZ varieties, a parlor palm. I'm literally so obsessed. Like, look how massive that is. How am I gonna choose? <gasps> Ooh, look at this one. Dang, look at these. Those are so pretty. Beautiful. I also think this one's really neat. This is a chain plant. Isn't it cool? $15.99. And this is so fuzzy. It's called a Velvet Hill Tradescantia. Oh, I am so obsessed. Oh, I almost missed the Hoyas. Shame on me. Look, they have Hoya Carii. 26 for the beautiful uh, Hoya, Hoya Carii Variegata. These are great. The, you know, the leaves are heart-shaped. They're so beautiful. I just love these. They have tiny, tiny little Hoya Carnosa Compactas. Looks like they have some Hoya Australis and a Hoya Australis Lisa. These are the same. This one's just a variegated one and it I find this one doesn't grow as fat as quickly as this one. Um, this one does enjoy having a good amount of light. And then I'm not sure what this kind is. I'm seeing some um, some really fun Hoyas coming onto the market more and more so. Here's a larger Hoya Australis. Looks like a more mature leaf cuttings. And some cute little bonsai there. These are called goldfish plants. And they're called goldfish plants, let me show you because their blooms look like little goldfish. Tell me that's not the most adorable <laughs> bloom you've ever seen. These are $17.99 for these goldfish plants. Okay, I was literally standing right there trying to decide what plants to buy and I realized I missed all of these plants still. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. What, what do we have over here? Oh my goodness. I almost missed like, oh my gosh. Anthurium Warquinum, 64. Oh my goodness, I almost missed all these plants. Dang, look at that bromeliad. Whoa, look at those bromeliads. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Gloriosum, $19 for the Gloriosum. Shut the front door. Look at these little Syngonium, they're so cute. What are you? Silver Fox, $16. Ficus Shiveriana, 17, and they're, they're the biggest ones I've seen anywhere. What is this? Guys, I am freaking out. Begonia by Begonia by Pinnatifida, 15. These are begonias? What is this? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. What are you? Philodendron Pastizanum Silver Philodendron, 22. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. Look, they have more. Look at this. More El Choco Reds, 32. Oh my gosh, I almost missed all of this. Look, they have a Medrium Silver, 26. Rapsis Excelsa Lady Palm. I'm shocked. They have all these, I think these are Alocasia Black Velvets. Alocasia, oh, they're Ninja. $12.99. I can never tell the difference between the Ninja and the Alocasia Black Velvets. Alocasia Poly, $8.99. Calathea Cora, $11.99. Some Spathophyllum Flower Bunch, $6.99. My goodness. There are so many. Oh, wow. Look at all the ones over here. I'm so glad I didn't miss all these. All right, Cebu Blue on the plank is 34. Then we have the Pink Princess here is 28. And Macaulay Finale, 18. 
Monstera Peru, 34. Lou, look at this Brant uh, Brantianum, 32. They have Bietiers, some nice sized ones. Look at this leaf. How much are these? I'm so curious. 44 for the nice size Bietiers. I'm just jumping all over the place because I'm excited about all these cool plants. Philodendron Brazils, wow, they're really pretty. 31. Okay, these look like white stripe or some or silver stripe or something. This definitely isn't Brazil. What are you? 20. I don't think this one is Brazil, guys. This is something else. This is Brazil, this Brazil, this is something different. This is probably Brazil, but this one is something else. Um, which for 20 bucks would be a steal. Look at these. I always forget what these are called. Oh, it's a Peperomia. Wow. Peperomia Ecuador, 1999. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. All right, we have some Monstera Deliciosas here, some Homolonema Selbys, 21. Some cool Ficus, we have Ficus Tenacae, I think this is Ficus Ruby, and then Burgundy. They have the Epipremnum Panatum Albo, 52. Some of them have some fenestrations going on already. Look at those fenestrating leaves. And then the more light you give them, the more variegation they'll get. Some more of the Diffenbachia reflectors. Oh, they have, wow, these are really beautiful Cissus discolor. If I had any luck with Cissus discolor, they're so beautiful. 28. Calathea rattlesnake. Ornata or Bifolia, 27. Oh my gosh, the cutest little birds. Dang, look at this bird's nest anthurium. She is not playing around, wow. Oh, it's packed full of roots, awesome, 21. Oh, they have Alocasia Frydex here. I haven't seen an Alocasia Frydex in forever. 21 for the Alocasia Frydex. Oh, they have the, what are they calling this? Spathophyllum, Aglaonema Spathonema, 27. Oh, and then the silver one, I missed it. Heterophylla Corazon, 23. Beautiful aglionemas here. And then this one is a schistomaglottis. Oh, I thought it was a schistomaglottis. It's labeled something else. 25. These Syngonium are $16.99. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an over budget, but worth it video. Look at all of these peace lilies. Wow, $16.99. These are uh, domino ones. They have a good amount of variegation. Then some snake plants. 29 moonshine snake plants and then they have some ficus or um uh amplisimum epipremnum amplisimums 27 some pretty skindapsis here silver splash 23 amazing they have begonia maculata 24 these bird's nest anthurium are massive. If you like these kind of plants, I would definitely say come get one of these. They're so stunning and they're only $21. And they're red, they're red's bird's nest. Also, I don't know anything about bromeliads, but these look like something special. They're really pretty. Next level. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they have anthurium moraquinum here. I can't believe that. And Gloriosums for so cheap, 64. Oh, I already have one. Like a lot of the ones I won't be getting are because I have one already. This Gloriosum is a nice size too for $19. Can you believe that's $19? That's so, such a great deal. I'm surprised they have anything left. I think this is still like one of the best kept secret spots in this area for plants. I don't think maybe everybody knows yet. <laughs> um, 
which is fine by me because look at all these great plants I have to myself. Wow, I'm gonna have to get one of these. They are so pretty. Maybe this one with the new leaf coming out. Like, look at that. That is so pretty for $22. That is so beautiful, $22. Passizanum silver, so pretty. I did recently pick up an Amedrium silver. They're such cool looking plants. And then I already have a Choco red, but like, it's one of my favorite, favorite plants. Like look how, all right, look how beautiful this is. That's the new leaf. It's literally lime green with red velvet. And then the stems are red. And this has all sorts of little baby plants in there. It's only 32. My gosh, that is really tempting me. Ah. They also have this whole seating area where you can have like a cup of coffee, relax, like kind of amongst the plants. And I just noticed it. <laughs> and they have, look at all this stuff over there that you can buy for house plants or whatever gardening supplies, not just house plants. It's amazing. I just wanted to kind of walk through see if anything jumps out. I mean, this Diffenbachia is beautiful. And then they have some like really nice sized Monsteras. Curious how much the big Monsteras are. 80. And look at these cactus. They're so cool. They've, oh, um, they have a stage here because they play music. They have like live music and stuff that they do and you can, um, I was told you could like have a drink while you did your shopping if you wanted and that kind of thing. Look at all these plants that they have around on display. This is a beautiful, a beautiful plant. I think this is a ginger plant or a cordyline. Sometimes I get those two confused. Oh, look how big this Monstera is. What a cool store. And then on the inside is all um, like grocery store. I ended up picking out some fabulous, fabulous plants. And so what I've decided to do is actually bring them with me on the plane instead of shipping them and all this stuff. I honestly don't have energy for all that. So I'm just going to bring them with me. And normally I would just put them in one bag and put them under the seat in front of me, but I have Claire coming with me. She's such a great little traveler. You guys wanna say hi to Miss Bear Bear. Say hi. <laughs> oh, so so she'll be coming with me on the flight and she'll be um, under the seat in front of me. So I am going to squeeze all of the goodness. So I'm going to be squeezing all of the plants into my backpack. We'll see how that goes. So I will check back in upon arriving in Charlotte and share my haul with you all. So as you saw, I ended up bringing the plants that I picked out on the plane with me back to Charlotte and I just squeezed them into my backpack. So, you know, I'm surprised they ended up making it back just fine. Um, and I'm really excited to share my haul with you. But how amazing was that nursery? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I saw that second greenhouse because otherwise I would have missed so many great plants. So I'm gonna jump into it. All right, this is the first one. It is a Philodendron Glorious. This plant is normally, I mean, I don't even know how much I've seen it for. Very, very expensive. Like, I think the last time I saw one of these ones, it was like a really big one for $200. This one was $14.99. Can you believe that? Um, it's absolutely beautiful. So this new leaf got a little bit crinkled up, but not bad considering it was smushed up in my backpack. It's absolutely beautiful. And I just love how velvety these are this is definitely an uncommon rare plant that you never see around hardly anywhere and i couldn't believe that i saw philodendron glorious there let alone that it was 14.99 like thank you horrocks for providing us with these beautiful plants for this amazing rate and Oh, I'm just so in love with it and it's a nice sized one i'll probably give it a moss pole or a plank are you getting smushed down here, baby? <laughs> now we'll see how it does. I really love my Philodendron Splendid and this looks very similar to that. So um, we'll see how it does in comparison. I still need to like treat all of them. I like to treat my new plants. I wash them off and then I spray them down with insecticidal soap. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the best part. Look, 
Look at that. Look at this. Choo -choo. I think it has variegation on it. Like, look at that leaf. And then on the new leaf, there's a spot here. It's teeny tiny. I mean, it's not like anything that exciting. It's not like I can say, oh, I have a var variegated philodendron glorious, but it does have some interesting stuff happening to it, which is really fun. It just makes it like a fun plant. I mean, and that just looks so cool. It has that little stripe across the top. I still just can't believe it was $14. So cheers to that. Mm. On to the next one. I hate that I have to move you, but I have to get the other plant. My goodness, you're gonna be so mad at me. So this next one was a bit of a splurge. It was $42, and it's a Philodendron Jose Bono NL. I don't know if the NL means anything, or if it's just like how they label their plants. Sometimes certain varieties have like special letters and stuff on the end to identify them but i just thought this was beautiful these had a lot of variegation and i actually ended up going for one that didn't have the most amount of variegation compared to the other ones that were there because i'm just feeling a little bit um not frustrated because I get it with these variegated plants, the highly variegated sectional plants, that the white part will die off sometimes um, if it's not given like absolutely perfect conditions. But, you know, I just, they're so brown and crispy and it just makes me, I don't know, right now I love variegated plants, but I'm going to go with the ones that don't have like solid, solid white chunks. Um, but even the ones that have like the solid white chunks, there's still a little bit of green, which means that it can produce chlorophyll. So it won't die off like the other white parts. This one did so great in my suitcase. I can't believe it was smushed up in my backpack and like you would never even know it. It has like a brand new leaf coming out. It looks like there's going to be a lot of variegation on that one. And I just think this is the most beautiful philodendron. It's so cool. And there are a ton of little baby plants in here. Like look at all those little baby plants. I don't know anything about this one. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I don't know if the variegation stays consistent or not. And I, even though it was $42, I still think that's a good deal on this plant. And it's a nice sized one. Look how pretty it is. All right, more plants to come. <laughs> This one I had never seen before, and it is called a Chocolate Empress Philodendron, $27.99. It's a lot like a Jungle Boogie, like the leaf shape, or a Ring of Fire leaf shape, um, but it is a chocolatey brown color when it comes out. This is the newest leaf, and it did surprisingly well in my backpack. Like I was expecting this leaf to have a hard time, but it is, I will say the plants did surprisingly well. I didn't even have to do anything except shove them in my backpack in the bag. So yeah, look how cool this is. And I love the leaves that have this like jaggedy edge to it. And I think the more mature the leaves get and older the plant is, the more of a uh, definition these leaves are going to get. And then I guess they start out this chocolatey brown color and then they turn into this really, really dark emerald, emerald green color. And the stems kind of stay this like nice chocolatey color. And I don't know anything else about this plant, so let me know if you know anything. $27.99 I thought was a great deal for this philodendron, which I um, had never seen before. How gorgeous is this philodendron? <gasps> it is a philodendron pastazanum silver. So I guess there are different types of pastazanums. I have another pastazanum and it doesn't look like this, um, but these leaves are stunning. Like I love how dark green they are and I love the texture of the leaves, like the style of them. I know, I don't know, just, the way they look and then you can see splashes of silver on the leaves. It's just so stunning. And again, look, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Wow. I just love that so much. I just want it to get huge. I love it. Look how beautiful it is. You can see like, like the little silver streaks on there. You can definitely see it. You can definitely, like in person, you definitely see the silver. And I just love the emerald green color of the leaves. It's really beautiful. It looks different than any other plant that I have in my collection. And oh, let, we haven't even like taken a moment to look at the stems of this one because I do think stems to me like play a role. And look, it has like this cool ruffly on the out, ruffly stuff on the outside of the leaves. They're not um, fuzzy. They just have this like beautiful ruffle on the outside of the leaf of the outside of the stems. And the stems are um, kind of a red color. And look at this. Like passizanums aren't normally this red green color and even like along here is kind of red in person and on the back sides like the veining is red on the back it's really really beautiful i'm obsessed with it and i thought for 22 dollars that just blew me away so those are the plants i ended up picking out and i would have brought like many more with me but i knew i was going to be flying with them and Again, I wasn't expecting to like really buy anything. So, you know, I ended up spending more than I would have, but it was so worth it. And I found that the plants there were so like, they were just priced so fairly, I couldn't resist. And they all traveled exceptionally, exceptionally well. So if you're traveling within the US, you can just bring them on the plane with you. So what do you guys think? Do you like the plants that I chose? I just love them. And I'll definitely start just like, throwing more plants in my backpack if I need to anytime I'm traveling because it's so much easier than shipping, to be honest. So if you have any of these plants and have care tips, let me know in the comments. Uh, and if you would have picked out any plants today, let me know what you would have grabbed. And definitely subscribe if you want to see future videos in your newsfeed. And we also have a great community on Instagram. And lastly, huge thank you again to Bright Sellers. Thanks, Bright Sellers, for giving my followers their first six bottle subscription box, usually over $150, for just $55. Click the link in the description to take the quiz and get started today. Thank you so much for tagging along with me today. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. Bye.